What's going on everybody? This is JD with JD Reviews. This is going to be my little quick video on the movie Morbius. Um, I'm using my cell phone so I might not have that much space. Um, I watched it earlier today, a couple of hours ago. And I got to say that was the first Marvel movie where I was not imp too impressed. The um, movie seemed like it was rushed to me. It, it, it put me in the mind really of uh, a Batman movie for the MCU. Morbius was Bruce Wayne Batman. Um, the, the detective in the movie, um, they had the thick mustache. He was Jim Gordon. And, you know, he had his, his, his little helper, his sidekick. I thought Tyrese would do more in the movie, but not really. <laughs> um, it, it rushed. Within the first 20 minutes, he had his powers. It, I, I felt like it really wasn't a build up to his story. Um, okay, he has a blood disease. How did he get it? Oh, it's from birth. He's walking on these crutches. Um, him and his friend. I don't even know who the other guy was. He, he was named Milo in the movie. I don't know who Milo was. Um, but it just it didn't draw me into the story. Um, after he got it, he, he created a serum, gave him abilities. You know, he, I don't know. Now, I'm, I'm, he was drinking artificial blood. I don't know. I don't know if he creates it or... They said he don he donated it in the movie. I don't know if he made it up or created it or for what purpose it was. Um, but it was definitely it was completely different um, from what what I'm used to. The Morbius I grew up with the I don't know if y'all remember the '90s Spider-Man um, where it had Morbius, Black Cat. It touched on the Avengers story. It got, it got a little um, confusing at the, towards the end of the series. But in that TV show, Morbius, he had these little suction cups on his hands. And if he touched you, he could uh, drain your energy or your life force, I guess. He wasn't an ordinary vampire. In this one, he needs blood. But, you know, he's not burning from sun or, or whatnot, if that makes sense. Um... For some part of the movie, I was playing the video game on my phone. It just, it, it just didn't draw me in. Um, now, if you put on Winter Soldier, um, Captain Marvel, man, let's see if y'all might watch it. Might or may not watch it. Um, Iron Man, uh, the Hawkeye series was good. If you put on any of the other Marvel stuff, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm tuned in. I could follow. This movie, I couldn't follow. This was the first flop I would have to say. Um, from Marvel that I know of. They put, put this out kind of like DC. Everybody remember the Justice League movie where um, the plot was kind of rushed. This one was kind of, it felt like it was kind of rushed. And then somewhere along in the movie um, where he was accused of murders, um, somewhere along in the movie, bats became his friends and he began to be able to control the bats. Come on, come on now, come on now. And then whenever he was, uh, I don't, if he was, if he needed blood, that's the only time he transformed. As opposed to, as opposed to the cartoon that I, that I, you know, used to see. Um, he would, um, he, that was his form all the time. And, you know, he couldn't change back and forth, back and forth. Um. And and that's how the with the bats help. That's how he ended up defeating his uh, arch enemy uh, Milo, not his, arch, his best friend Milo. But it was just really. Uh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't pay for. It. I'm glad I did not spend no money on that movie. If you all want to go see the movie, I would suggest try waiting for it at the Dollar Theater, or trying to pay for. Well, I'm not trying not trying to pay for it for cheap, but you know. I, w I wouldn't spend $10, $13 to see, to see that movie. It was very rushed for an hour and 38 minutes. It was very, very rushed to me. I, I don't think the plot built it up. And I think they honestly could have stretched, could have broke that down to a two-parter. Um, they, oh man, the villain, he was so obvious. Gosh. And I guess I'm so used to mo movies now, but his friend wanted his friend wanted to have the cure same as him and it was just it, the I don't know if you want to say the plot 
or the char- the characters, which is obvious in my book. And oh, oh, another thing. Um, towards the ending of the movie, um, they brought back in Michael Keaton, who, if you all watched uh, first Spider Man, Far From Home, um, he played he played the Vulture. So they brought him in at the end. And they brought in, uh, they put a name out there um, called uh, Adrian Tubes or Andre T- Andre Tombs. So I think he might be. I think they might be bringing in Tombstone. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what they got in, in store for the Vulture, but they. I I'm thinking that this movie. I know it, it wasn't that good, but I'm thinking that they put this movie out to set up for Craven. I think they're gonna bring in Craven the Hunter. Which, um, if you watched or know the Spider-Man series or Spider-Man franchise from the '90s, Craven was was always a reoccurring villain for him, along with uh, Doctor Octopus, the Lizard, um, Shocker, Kingpin. But the um, the only thing I can say is um, don't pay for it. Don't pay for it. And. Um, this was the first. This was the first movie I would say. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Marvel didn't do it justice. Marvel did not do it justice. Yeah. So this is JD with JD Reviews. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. Um, as you can see, I'm out and about on my cell phone, driving around, making a little extra change while I bring you guys, bring you guys this review. So thanks so much for, for your attention. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the Morbius movie as well. Let me know if you guys thought it was worth it or, you know, if you were like, eh. All right. This is JD, JD with JD Review signing out.